Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to run through with you the complex solution. Okay, so on the screen now, what you see is the simple solution which I have uh, shown in the last video. First thing we're going to do is going to delete off uh, the extra objects we won't need. We're going to delete off our object 3, 2, and number 4. Now we're only left with the first object. All right. So before we start, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the clone function. What we're going to do is we're going to run uh, loops. We're going to run a loop to set uh, four different objects to go across. And then a second loop to push it down a row, four across, push it down, four across, push it down, four across. So the loop will run 16 times to clone this object 16 times times okay we'll clone the object 16 times using two loops okay all right so the existing code is going to remove this and just put it here later we will need it okay first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the object on the top left always to be the same place okay we're going to use the set function set here as well as set x and set y okay Okay, hi, we can see Z is over here next to me. He's also looking at the code. Okay, so we're going to put this right at the top left corner. Okay, all right. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a loop. A loop is here, repeat. Okay, we're going to put repeat four times. Okay, and in the repeat, I'm going to put the clone function. Okay, all right, so let's click this. All right, uh, if you notice, there is four objects in the same spot, but not put across. Actually, there's five. Five is with the original one before you started cloning. Okay, so now after we clone the first object, we want to push it to the right of itself. We're going to use the change X value. Okay, for you, it might be different. You might have to change to whatever value you're using. For me, I've tested it. It should be a change x by 120. Okay, there you go. You have one, two, three, four. The fourth one is actually the extra, the one that it started with. Okay, let me just stop and then clone. All right, all four will be there. Okay, you want to get rid of the fifth one? Very easy. We just put a hide. Hide to hide the last one after the repeat. It will hide the last one. Okay, last one is gone. Okay. However, if I start again now, there is no more to clone because when you clone it, you're cloning the invisible or the hidden one. So we need to put a show right on top when we start. Okay. Let me start again. Okay. So the first one clones. Uh, the first loop only clones four objects to go across four times. Okay. We need to do a second loop. Second repeat, okay. This repeat we put above the first one. Remove this height right at the bottom, okay. And then we want to set the x to go. Sorry, the y. Y means uh vertical. We want to set the y to go down one row to the next row, okay. So now we will set. We will change the y after you repeat four times to go four across. We want to change the y to go one row down and then repeat four again. Okay, so this is four for the four different rows. This is the four for the four different columns. Okay, so now we're going to use the change y. Sorry, change y. Change y is here. Change y by 40. Okay. It's not actually 40. 40 is positive. It's going up. To go down, is negative 40. I've tested this in my code. With your code, it might be a different value. Okay. So let's click on this. Okay. So as you can see, once the object, uh, once the object went to the end, it did not come back to the start. So we need to put the set the X. Set the X. Just take the X out. Set the X. Put it here, 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 here. Okay, so the the X would be reset to the front, to the left side, at the beginning of each loop when it starts in the following row. Okay, let me just click this. Okay, doing well, isn't it? 
I'm sorry, my browser is lagging. I don't know why. So uh, I'm gonna show the rest of the. I'm gonna show the code now. Finish it off. Uh, if it's lagging a bit, I'm sorry. Okay, so you can see the code. The code. The simple code here. Place four objects first. It goes uh, horizontal. One, two, three, four. After that, it comes down to the next row. One, two, three, four. Next row, one, two, three, four, and then the bottom row, one, two, three, four. and then the extra one object that we have, the original one we started with, will be hidden using the height at the bottom here. Okay, if you notice when we start the game, sorry, it's really lagging now. It it bounces off, but it does not get hidden. It doesn't get destroyed. Okay, so let me press the stop button here and remember the code we had originally. There's one more code we need to put in under control. There is a function called when I start as clone. Okay, when I start as clone, we will put it here. Run the code. Tup, 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 tup. Okay. 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 So that is the smarter solution, a more complex solution. We use two loops, two loops of repeat four times to automatically generate for me 16 objects okay so in this lesson we actually learn how to use a repeat loop all right stay tuned i will give you the next task you need to do in the next video thank you guys